hey hey how's it going if you're new here my name is jan and i love makeup and if you're not new thanks for coming back i really appreciate you today's video was just an idea i've had that i just wanted to try out i played with the whole underpainting quote unquote idea before but never in a way to seriously make it work so if you want to see what i did and how i got this look let's get into it i'm about to have a very naked face so brace yourself okay i wanted to play today as you know august is a no buy so i'm having to think of different things to do so i'm going to start by squirting my face squirting <laughs> dampening my face with the abh dewy set setting spray i've mostly just been using that for like dampening my brush for eyeshadow but i thought having a nice moisturized base would be a good plan for today so like i said in the intro i'm going to try underpainting i have actually played with this concept before years ago but never like super seriously so I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade Truffle, which is gonna look totally crazy until everything comes together. Assuming I do this correctly, <laughs> it should look okay. I have absolutely no idea if that will be the case or not but we'll find out. Okay, so we're gonna start with that. And then concealer, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And just start putting this where I normally would. So obviously all of this stuff is going on under foundation. My understanding is you end up with a more natural kind of a look. Uh, this is just my e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator Brush. I love this for cream, contour, and blush. Just going to blend out all of the contour bronzer shade first. Like I said, I did this once before, just playing. I was by no means trying to do like the best job ever. I was just interested in seeing, you know, how this worked. But now, I really want to see if I can make it work. I think typically I would use, I would blend out the concealer first, but I don't know a whole lot about these matchsticks. They were something I picked up from the boxy pop-up and I don't know how quickly they dry. So, got a little bit of concealer in that. All right, now let's do the concealer. I'm going to take this all over my lid as well as under my eye and along my nose. I might go back in after and add a bit more concealer or bronzer to my nose. We'll see.
<clears throat> I think I went too low on this side. I'm just gonna try to clean it up with a little concealer. gonna leave that to sit for a few minutes <clears throat> and go in with blush I have this new one I haven't I picked it up from the same boxy pop-up it's the Lila B B daring divine duo lip and cheek it's a very orangey color which I am super excited to try out so on that same brush just going to pop that on. I've never used this blush before, and I don't know if it'll break up my makeup um, underneath. So I thought, hey, let's try it for this particular method. <laughs> Way to draw a blank there. That's really pretty. And I made a giant mess in the thing. Let me just clean that up real quick. All right, good as new. This little thing is so stinking cute. It feels like a rock. It's really heavy. <clears throat> I kind of like it. Okay, now I have a slightly dampened sponge. I just want to finish blending in that highlight. Okay, so going back in with my matchstick, I'm just gonna pop a little on the side of my nose just a tiny bit, bit more back here. Like I said, I'm just playing, but hoping to make this work. <laughs> I'm really just patting the side of my nose, not dragging or Okay. And for highlighter, I'm going to go in with this Iconic London Illuminator. It's a liquid highlighter. I don't use it as a rule because it is crazy. But for under foundation, it might be pretty cool. Just don't know. Before I blend in the highlight, I'm just going to Blend this out and contour shade back here. Just get a little dimension going. Pop, pop, pop. I would imagine if you had a very light hand, you could make this work over foundation, but I wanted to try it like this today. This is the kind of thing you can actually add to foundation, like if you have dry skin and you want a bit more glow. You can add this to your foundation, it'll make you glowy. But since I'm a greasy girl, I don't want more glow unless I put it there specifically. So I think 
there's a good place to stop putting on <laughs> products and go in with my foundation. I'm actually going to use the Tarte C Hydroflex Serum Foundation. This is a super light coverage, just kind of an evening your skin um, product. So I'm just actually going to pour it on my face directly. see how it goes from there. I'm gonna use the clean edge of my sponge and just start dab dab dabbing that everywhere. Okay, so I think it looks pretty good, like way toned down, a bit more natural than what I normally go for. Um, I could see this being an effective way to do your makeup if you aren't real comfortable with cream products because it was certainly easy enough to clean up when I brought the bronzer down too low. I just put a bit of concealer in there and, you know, cleaned it right up. So. I mean, I'm definitely not mad at it. Will I do it all the time? Probably not, simply because I like a bit more. But if I wanted like a super natural, easy to do makeup look, I would definitely do it again. That was pretty cool. I think I like it a lot. I'm gonna quickly throw on some of this LA Girl Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliner. This is in the shade Powder Blue. And then a little bit of Bye Bye Panda Eyes and a nude lip, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. A little bit of mascara, a little bit of eyeliner, and a lip. Some brow gel, and we're good to go. I mean, for me, this is definitely more of a no makeup makeup look, but I think if it was easy, and I think it came out looking pretty darn good. So, if this is your idea, of a good makeup look, then I definitely say give it a try. Obviously, any cream product you have will work. You don't need exactly what I have, though I do highly recommend the e.l.f. camo concealer. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell and choose all and YouTube will tell you when I upload a new video, which has been Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, so far, so good. Be good and remember to be kind to you.